Hey, what's up guys? This is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. This video is going to be a little bit different than how we normally shoot it at the warehouse because of the COVID-19 deal. But um, today we're going to go over... Oh, and make sure you still hit that subscribe button uh, even though you don't see me on the screen. But uh, we're going to jump straight off into the video today. Um, for this one, we're going to jump into uh, the GPIO and honestly I'm not exactly sure what the GPIO stands for but it's basically uh, like a foot switch or something like that uh, toggle type of deal that you can set up to your console and this is for the Behringer wing uh, console so today what we're using is uh, a M gear regular keyboard sustain pedal um, what I had to do I had to change the polarity to two um, and to make it work um, but other than that it works just fine so I connected it into the back of the console into the into the GPIO port that says one and two that's what I'm connected into and and from that we're gonna go off into um, how to set it up so after you connect the foot pedal into the back of the console um, you can go right here into your custom control section and you can hit the view button and on the screen right here it says GPIO you can hit that and you have four uh, tabs so you have four spaces and even on the back um, you have four uh, basically like four inputs you can use you have one two um, and then three four but one and two are the same <coughs> same um, input so I guess it's like a stereo input that you can use type of deal uh, is what I'm assuming but right now we're just using this one on uh, on that uh, one and two input so uh, you tap on the GPIO and we have already have that one highlighted and from there you can choose what you want the foot uh, switch to do so let's just say we want it to be sends on faders um, and we want it to be sends on faders for let's say um, our because um, I have a session set up right now um, just checking out some of the the stuff on the console so I have a, 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 sump, a, a drum subgroup right now so we're going to set that up for the drum subgroup. So after we have that set, um, you can name it if you want to name, uh, name it or whatever. But right here in the GPIO mode, um, if you're using a foot pedal like this, you'll already be good. Basically, the where it's set now, if you tap it down once, it'll uh, insert it so it'll flip it. So just like now, it puts it into sends on fader mode. You hit it again. It takes it out. Hit it again. So that's how it works with the first two, um, one and two. Well, I say one and two, but the first two deals, uh, the toggle, and then. The next one um, it's more like a you can hold it down while you're using it and then just release it so while you're holding it down you're in sends on faders or you're out of it and then um, and then when you let it go you're in sends on faders so the other one will be the opposite but for us for me rather I would want it to be the first one to where when I hit the pedal it switches in and out of 
whatever I needed. And like I said, you can put it on whatever you wanted to. You can you can use it for inserts, um, effects parameters, um, mute groups, or whatever. So um, that's a quick tutorial on how to set up um, basically your foot switch with um, your Behringer Wing console. Hopefully that helps somebody. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Uh, this has been Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. See you guys on the next one.